a lot of people I think are feeling really unfulfilled in life and actually really scared right now, especially with this pandemic, because, but we're realizing and have been for a while that this dream that we were sold, this, hey, this American dream of go to work, get the house and the retirement, it's not going to work. It's not working anymore. It hasn't worked. I'm in my early 30s and I'm in my second financial crash, major, probably worse than the first one. And so this is why tiny houses and RVing are becoming huge is because we're realizing that this isn't becoming tangible. And COVID hopefully is the camel that broke all of your guys' backs of hopes and dreams that falling in line is gonna get you where you want anymore because it's not, it's not. A lot of people are sitting there, they just lost their freaking jobs, their income, along with their health care, probably gonna lose their home, and it's all because we're all dependent on other people, and it's not gonna work anymore. I'm actually living a super fulfilling life. I'm actually incredibly content. I actually know what joy is. I actually have been lucky enough through some pretty difficult lessons to have figured out a few of these steps to at least pursue the fulfilling life. And so I've decided to come up with a online course. My course is gonna be titled, Don't Take a Leap. And it is how to pursue a fulfilling life through financial independence outside of having a traditional business. Now, emphasis on the fulfilling life. The money part comes later, but that's just, I've realized through talking with people that money is a huge, I mean, come on, let's just be honest here. It's a huge concern in life. And I've come up with five pillars that I think are really important. The first pillar, I guess, for lack of a better term, is figure out what does your ideal life look like. And this doesn't just mean no worries. And just, I, I'm talking about actually getting down to it and writing this down, not just being like, oh yeah, this would be great. I want to be healthy. I want to write these down. Figure out exactly what it is. Get a very clear picture. You don't have to have it 100%, but get 75% of the way there. And just, these are aspirations, okay? These aren't goals. Well, how do you do that? And I'll tell you, here's a huge key, is pay attention to what you daydream about. Pay attention to where you lose yourself at work. What are you thinking about doing? Now, I'm not gonna sit here and try to tell you that this is gonna be a fast process. It's, it's not. What basically, the very first step is, is becoming more self-aware. Becoming self-aware is one of those things that all of these, I don't even wanna call them success gurus, but self-help, self-improvement, whatever. It is really, I've found becoming more and more prominent because a lot of people just don't want the normal cookie cutter American life Defining your ideal life. And I think this is really has surprised me at how few people have actually done this. And I can't, I shouldn't say it surprises me because I had no idea until I had a court of life crisis. And the only thing that even remotely sounded like it wasn't pure drudgery was just traveling and being free. So that's what I did and it's been a heck of a learning curve. Not just the traveling, but the whole fulfilling thing. For me, I want my time. And I want my time to be able to do kind of whatever I want. I mean, that's not really the end goal, but right now, my time is used to travel and to build little travel rigs and learn how to become a videographer. 
and hang out with other people that like to be... Yeah, I guess the other part of that is finding my community, which I've been working on trying to define that exactly. And I think a lot of people are actually looking for their community as well. For me, I have figured out I really want to be with active, healthy, outdoorsy people that are driven and intellectual and have conversations trying to better themselves and other things. The other part of the community is just people that are rocking their ideal life because it's different for everybody. Okay, step number two is figuring out the very bare minimum physical assets that you need for this life. It might be an instrument, kitchen, a car, but the bare minimum. And here is what a lot of people, including myself, put on that list. And it is own property and have enough free time to be able to pursue the activities that I want to do. It's pretty simple. This is when things are pretty exciting because you realize it's actually, at least for most people, really not that much. Really not that much at all. I might only need 16th of an acre. Great. Now, as far as the free time, how much free time do I want? Well, I don't have to have 100% free time. Right now, what is the bare minimum? And let's just say, okay, well, I want to be able to, let's just say only work 20 hours a week. That's a little easier. Only have to work 20 hours a week. Okay, great. So those are a few other things. And then what kind of gear or equipment or skills? That's another thing. What is the absolute bare minimum money you have to spend to acquire these physical things? This is going to play with part two because you're going to start to realize that once you start doing this, you start to realize, oh, you know what? I actually don't really, maybe I don't actually need that. I can use, I can, I can have a different substitution for this. Now keep in mind, bare minimums to get started. And I mean, when you have that right there, those three things, what do I actually want out of my life? What are the physical things I need just to start? And how much money is it gonna take to actually achieve those things? There you go. I mean, I know it sounds simple, but that's the start. Now you actually have a dollar amount of a bare minimum starting point for your fulfilling life, your ideal life. For a lot of people, I don't think that the fulfilling life is going to come from working the corporate job, the nine to five for the deferred retirement. And for me, I know that wasn't true. And for me, I could tell you, you don't have to wait for retirement, baby. Taking responsibility for your own finances is, I think, absolutely imperative to pursuing this fulfilling life. A lot of people, I think when they hear that, get really scared because they think business ownership and entrepreneurship. I have done both and that is, I'm not gonna say a bad path, but I think that a lot of people accidentally fall into that. The two business pillars, I call them, are budgeting, and let's get even a little deeper here and say financing and accounting. Now, you don't have to know these skills. You have to be aware of them. You don't have to be an expert. And the other one is advertising, which I think nowadays is really heavily, uh, I think advertising is a really loaded word. 
And all that means, the way that I'm saying it, is getting whatever you're selling, your goods and services or whatever it is, getting those in front of people. And there are companies now that just specialize in this. They're all over the place. So you don't have to know these things. You don't have to be an accountant. You, you can hire these people. So there you have it. Those are the five pillars for, I think, my, my the way that I was able to achieve a much more fulfilling life than I had before. The five pillars are define what you want out of life. Exactly. Define your fulfilling life. Figure out the very bare minimum physical, tangible things that you need. Find out the very bare minimum financial costs it takes to acquire those things. Now you have literally a map and a price tag on your fulfilling life. And now you have to go take care of the money aspect of that. So one, you really, really have to be mindful of your money and all the ways that you can keep it and grow it. And then also you have to be mindful of all of the avenues that are so easily available these days of how to get your money, your services, your whatever it is out there, which is advertising. So those are the five pillars. I think, I'm hoping, yeah, I think those are a really pretty good start, but I'm not gonna say those are absolutely it. I know there's a ton of questions. I'm gonna try my absolute best to answer these questions because I think this is absolutely one of the most important things that I could be working on right now is trying to show people the pathway that I was at least able to scramble through and see the light on the other side. Here's the thing with this course. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I have this figured out. Now I think I have a pretty good idea of some major steps that need to be achieved. And so that's what this course is. But I really need other people's feedback and to build this course with other people's input. And so that's what I'm doing right now. This is a pre-sale to that course. And I hope this pre-sale does not come across as disingenuous. This is something that I think is very important, but I'm also not going to sit here and say I've got it totally figured out. And so through the research that I've done, it has been highly advised that you do a pre-sale. So that's what I'm doing. If you do end up getting the pre-sale, you're of course going to get access to the full um, evergreen course is what they call it when it's just ready to go. There is going to be certain steps that I think are, um, really helped me achieve the first, the first pillar because that's a pretty big one. I'm not gonna lie, the first one is a pretty big one and there's a lot of really great steps on how to do that. There's also, of course, a ton of information on just <clears throat> all the businesses that do advertising and the different ways you can make money and different ways that you can like finance properties, owner carry finances, all that type of stuff. So of course, those are the types of things I wanna be discussing. I wanna get everybody else's ideas. I would love to hear from other people. If you guys are out there thinking you're just killing it and you've got the fulfilling life, please, please let me know. Sign up, let us all know. I think we're all really, really would love, love a little bit of that in our lives. So, all right guys, I really hope to see you in the next step. I hope to talk to you all in, this pre-sale and this organization and I really look forward to answering these questions. Thanks guys.